nice bright headlight and a good eye beam I don't know if anybody's actually uh, shown that this is the uh, new Yamaha Tenere T7 and I'm the luckiest bloke alive because I've got one quite impressed with that I'd like nice bright dash I like that even with my worsening eyesight I can just about read that <coughs> I love the glow around the screen that looks ace doesn't it Something else I like is this bit, it's metal. I can put my magnets on. Well, ah. If anybody wants any uh, rider guided stickers or magnets like them ones, they're good for toolboxes and fridges, and including also if you've got a Tenere, you've got a metal tank there. Drop me a, your address to the rider guider at gmail.com. The rider guider at gmail.com send me your address and I shall send you some stickers and magnets now for those that saw my um, test ride when I took it up in the hills I was mightily impressed by the fact that I felt I could commute on it and go long distances on it that screen's perfect for me at 5.8 there is a taller version of it if I want it but um, I'm happy with it, I feel the road position is good what am I going to be doing to it, additions wise? well I've already done the radiator guard, the Yamaha one I've already got a little bit of a tank pad happening here I'm going to get something to go on the side of the uh, tank as well for gripping it with my knees if I'm going off road and standing up etc next addition, I've got the crash bars ordered which are for the Yamaha ones I've also got um, I have some bark busters, so sort of proper hand guards which have got the aluminium protectors around. I'm probably going to upgrade the levers as well as uh, a bash plate. The one that it's got is a skid plate, really, as, the, as, as they described it. I want a bash plate so I can actually potentially learn how to go over logs and shit like that and rocks and not be too concerned about the under undercarriage I've got the centre stand for servicing only um, other additions, other things I'm going to do, I'm going to get that pod for the back seat it's like a solo seat conversion, it gives you options to bolt and strap bits to it i put an image on the screen, that'd be a great addition down the line, I don't think I'm probably going to go for a high fender for the front. I think I like the look of the standard one at the moment. But oh, headlight protector, getting one of them as well. Um, within a couple of weeks, the quad lock damper is going to be available. So that will be happening. I'll be putting the um, let's watch this slot. I'll be putting the phone back on. I was thinking of putting it on here, however, I'm probably going to end up putting it back on the, on the handlebars. The reason being, the quad lock needs to be turned 45 degrees for the phone mount. Now, that might all well and good be nice when it's on, but is it going to be able to be turned with that distance there? I don't know whether it'll work. If it does, I'll probably mount it high up there. If not, I'll have to try it both ways. But it, I've got space to put it on my uh, on my handlebars here, along with my um, aftermarket tire pressure monitoring system. Because I'm a bit of an anorak. I'll be doing some adjustments to find the correct angle of my levers. Because of course, if I'm wanting to stand up, which I discovered when I'm on my test ride, 
and I've stood up like that, my hands are going to be at too much of an angle for changing the gears and using my brake efficiently. The clutch lever needs to be dropped down ever so slightly. I have to find a nice happy medium for that so I can still use it on the road comfortably and also stood up. I think it might help the fact that I'm a bit of a... I'm, I'm, I'm lacking in height at 5 foot 8. Um, I'm not going to go for the lower suspension. I think it's unnecessary. I'm confident enough now that I'll be able to handle it with the higher with, with the standard suspension. If down the line I want to um, get a bit more foot of, foot on the floor, depending on how it works, I will probably went for seventh gear. Then I will probably potentially get a lower seat. There is a lower seat option, but it, not compromising the the ground clearance by getting lower suspension linkages. I'll just have to compromise the comfort by an inch, or I think it's something like 18, 20 mil in the seat padding. Um, the seat as it is, it feels actually quite comfortable, and initially it feels quite hard, but you can sit on it for a while, and you know what? It's not like a motocross seat. I still think I could be comfortable if I sat on it all day, which is nice. Other things I'm going to be doing, you've got a 12 volt cigarette lighter style plug here. I'll be changing that to the Heller type, because they're far more efficient. The other side has also got a blank, just here, so I'll put the USBs in there. So I've got some good solid 12 volt accessory potential there. Um, and that'll be it I think initially, I'm happy with it, everything else. So basically, oh yeah, engine covers, the, oh, I'll be going through the R&G stuff. R&G will be getting me into some cost. The bobbins for the spindles and the rear spindles and the engine protectors. That's something else I'll be putting on it. And these are all things that will happen over the next two or three months while I'm owning it and for it in a way a little bit of spending money. Amongst that, I am now looking towards a proper adventure helmet. I've got one, but it's a bit old. Um, advice please, people who have done this. An adventure helmet that accepts the Cardo Pack Torque that also has a drop down visor for tinting. Because on a day shift I ride in into the sun and I ride home into the sun and I prefer a visor built in than sunglasses. However, I also love the RI XD4. So if needs be, I will get an XD4 and just swap my visor back and forth and get a tinted visor. Um, and I know that that will accept the Cardo Pack Talk bold. However, let's see what happens. What what can you lot suggest? I'm doing it again went for a higher gear. I'll get used to this. Uh... It's windy. I'll get used to this uh, bike soon. I don't want to labour it in too too much power at 50, 60 kilometres in. I don't want to be hammering it into the wind like it is now until the engine's a bit more bedded in. You can drop a gear and just not have it working too hard. Um, so yeah, advice if you can, anybody. What's your thoughts on a, a good adventure helmet which will give me them options? The drop down vibe. Somebody sort of told me the aero at $599, the Aero Commando or something like that, or Commander. I'm not sure I've got much experience on the Aero, the A-I-R-O-H helmet. It does apparently accept the Cardo and it's got the drop down visor, but I don't know much about the helmet. And I had a quick research and apparently it's not a great comfortable helmet with the, um, the JBL speakers in. So we'll see, we'll see. What other things can we do down the line? Ah, a graphics kit. I'm actually going to have one made up, possibly. There's a local company called... I think SAKD or SK... 
SAKD or something. SAKD graphics. They they do custom graphic kits and they're great and they'll also do one specifically with my design. So I might go down the side the lines of the black and gold with the in line with the the the, the channel. I'll have to do some nice designs. But yeah, it's exciting. I'm chuffed to, chuffed to fuck with this, to be honest. Uh, very, very pleased and excited about it. So yeah, thanks for listening. And uh, we'll see you soon. I'm going to do some off-roading. Obviously, I'm still going to be doing the rider guide and defensive stuff. And uh, if you've got a tenor here, are you thinking of getting one? Good luck. I don't think you can go far wrong. And um, if you've got one, let me know what your mods are and what you've done, and uh, we'll go from there. Brilliant. Thanks, everybody. And uh, I've just clicked over 400 subs, so I'm very happy. Thank you, everybody, for that, and thank you for my uh, my views, as always. It's marvellous. Love you all. See you soon.